even though I have a facial difference now and I'm probably going to unfortunately have a facial difference for the rest of my life, that doesn't mean that I have had stuff acting and stuff inspiring people. Being in the theatre makes me feel just amazing. When I go places in public, I see people staring at me where I was like here, people when you walk through the door, smile like you, and everyone just like treat me as a normal person. It really does build up my confidence. Before she was diagnosed, Krista was very happy, determined. Um, she was getting very um, independent. I've always wanted to be an actress. Um, like, I think that since I was about uh, 10 years old or something like that. Before cancer, my main goal was getting good grades. I was always a person who didn't really care about what people thought. You were the first one to always want to say something. I remember when my 40th birthday, when you had that mic in your hand. <laughs> The cancer, like it was um, like a very scary and unusual time. That's when I started to get like a lot more anxious and scared about people speaking behind my back or saying, oh, um, how come my face is like that? Crystal, she went into a very deep depression. Um, she didn't want to go out. She didn't want to, you know, she didn't want anyone to, to look at her. She, you know, that's family and friends um, coming down. She was, she thought that they were going to sort of look at her differently. I thought that chemo was hard, but having to go through that operation and then having my whole face change completely, I think that that's what really made it a lot more worse for me. I had my hair kind of more on my face. I like wore really dark clothes and hoodies and I kept my head down all the time. She used to have posters up on a wall of all the actors and artists and everything. And when she came home, she just literally ripped every single, you know, posters off the wall. And, you know, she was saying, that's it. Can't do acting anymore. When I had cancer, it was almost like I went back to being like a baby again where yeah. you had to cook for me, you you had to cook clean too. for me. <laughs> you, they, they, they know you, but like a lot more or less now, yeah, do you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. Time is a really great healer and I think that the more time I really worked on myself and really had more love for myself as well, it has made me really grow in confidence. I think that if you just like change your mindset and to be more kind of positive about yourself and then having that self-belief that you can do and achieve anything. The old crystal's back and it's that energy what she's got about her. This year Crystal herself made it a point that I'm not going to hide anymore. My hopes and aspirations for the future is I want to be an inspirational um, a speaker and also I want to do stage management and theatre work. But I believe that even if I look different, I don't think that me or anybody else should cancel out their dreams and aspirations. I feel like they should still continue doing what they love and just do things that make them feel good. Thank you so, so much for always encouraging me to bring up my confidence back and you know, like I'm just like really really glad that I have you in my life and not meaning to be cheesy but yeah like I <laughs> be that most definitely yeah. I've got to say I feel safe to sort of uh, 
let you go and do your thing. This is the final big operation and then the rest of them I guess I can all like um like a uh, smaller operations. They're gonna come inside soon and uh, and he's gonna take the bone for well, my fibula bone as well to um to like you know help make my new top jaw. You know what, I think that slowly I'm getting back to the old Krista who didn't really care about what people thought of her. Now I know my own self-worth and I know that I'm beautiful and confident in myself as well. My dream life is to go out to the public place and not have the hair in my face and then just like feel free and happy. But I think that I'm slowly getting to that place that yeah, I can desperately want to be in.